The jungle holds many mysteries. How old is it? How deep is its heart? <coughs> what made that weird sound just now? And when an ape dies, how do his people say goodbye? That's Ape's Uncle Mitch, or at least a banana tribute to him. He was caught in a rhino flood, and as every ape knows, there's no escape from a rhino flood. I'm here at an ape ritual of sad feelings, never before seen by science. Nobel Prize, here I come. <laughs> Let the feast begin! Yeah! I'm here! I'm here! Did I miss the memorial? Ice creaming? Yes. Yes, it appears I did. George won't try new Mitch flavor. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> Waffle! So typical, bro. Late for Uncle Mitch's funeral? What's your excuse this time, huh? And don't say lifting, because I know you don't. Actually, Ted, George and I were testing out this. Oh, George inside egg! Amazing, isn't it? I call it my rhino flood emergency steroid. Now we won't lose anyone else in the rhino floods. Ah! Real apes don't hide in big dumb balls, bro. Ah! <laughs> You're as ape as a grape, bro. Beverly, do not let the rapscallion see my tears. Oh! How dare you! Come at me, bro! Stop, meatwalkers! <gasps> no legs! Super Superman! Oh. No leg born before legs invented. <sighs> oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Please, a silverback's the equivalent of an ape mullet. It's out of date, it's ugly, and it smells like farts. <clears throat> what, am I right? Am I right? Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm not right. Ah! It was a terrible ape faux pas. <laughs> if only Magnolia had taken a minute to watch the following audio-visual presentation. Many years ago, uh, before legs were invented, No Legs was a true ape hero. For being an all-round simian superstar, the ape gods bestowed upon No Legs the world's first silverback. And since that day, a silverback embodies ape achievement in the simian trifecta of lifting, charging, and intimidation. Yes, a silverback is the icing on the hairy brown cupcake of all ape kind. I've seen it now! I've seen it now! Fine. Oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Silverbacks are a fine and noble ape custom. By tradition, your uncle silverback passes to the apest of his family. Although, for the record, I think you're all a bunch of lazy leg standers. Sorry, bro, but you're as ape as a grape. Lay it on me, bub. I am not as ape as a grape. <gasps> Someone just grew a pair of wheels. I am as ape as an ape. I challenge you for Uncle Mitch's silverback. Bring it on, bro. That right, ape bring it to Ted. Ape bring it all to Ted, huh? Indeed. What have I done? What have you done? You made this old ape happy. <gasps> oh, snake pants! Ever since we were kids, Ted believed he was twice the ape I was. But I too can beat my chest in a gorilla-esque fashion. First, maybe ape not once say gorilla-esque anymore. Second, George have planned to help ape win silverback. <laughs> Ursula helped find Ape Dinner Ape. Ah, ah, my eyes! She has my eyes! Bad, Ursula! Give Ape eyes back! First Silverback Challenge is... 
<laughs> yes, lifting. That's right. <laughs> Lift. Ah, a termite, but it only weighs a minuscule amount. No! Go, 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 go. No! That was easy. <laughs> lift, 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 lift! I oh, how... Challenge! Uh, uh. She means challenge two. Charging. Ursula can count. Ape! Roar! That! I don't see how charging at that will help. Now, Ape! Roar! Go, 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 go! <laughs> My word, that felt quite primal. Watch out, Ted. You won't know what hit you. <laughs> Um, how'd that help, Ape? It's training. <laughs> Ursula Mink laugh laugh. <laughs> Perfectly preserved. No! You intimidate, intimidate, dater! Go! I am so sorry. Here, let me get that. Hold on. Is this Radiolis Florensis? What a beautiful statement. Ah! <laughs> 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 Ursula, give up! George, think ape ready too. Apes, we gather here today to determine which of Mitch's nephews is worthy of his silverback. Ape. Or, ah, who are we kidding? Ted's gonna win. George, believe in you, ape. Be best ape ape can be. Ape mentor George. Now George mentor ape. I can do this. I can do this. No I talk. Oh. Ted, ape, show me how you can lift. <laughs> Excelsior! Point to Ted. Challenge two. Impress me with your apiest. Charge! Right, here we go! Point to ten! Ape not have to do this. Ape always be ape in George's heart. Thank you, George. But this is my one chance to prove I'm as proper an ape as ten. I have an announcement. All your toes disgust me! Now, the last ape event, intimidation. <laughs> what do you got, bro? Uh-huh. Point for ten! Which means, Ted wins the silver bag! Oh, yeah! Feel the glory! George, sorry, ape. But... Like I said, bro, an ape is a grape. <laughs> Forget it, bro. This silver bag belongs on a real ape. I am a real ape. It belongs to me. Rhino? That really wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you? Me? 
You... I mean, you are? Bro, you're a terrible ape, but you're also an awesome ape. If you catch what I did there. No idea, but I can live with it. Ape and Ted okay. Holy banana! Ape Silverback! You look good on Ape. Hey, Ape not busy. Want Mark Trees with Ursula Friday night? Truly flattered, but no. I never really wanted this. I just wanted respect. Ted, you should be the Silverback in the family. <laughs> Sweet, and all is right in the Broniverse. Hey. I totally mark trees with you. You can watch me lift stuff after. Hmm, what do you say? Dad, ah! Ursula, give Ted eyes back. The jungle. A peaceful, tranquil place. <laughs> And so it begins. Of the jungle, comma, George. Normally, a happy-go-lucky jungle king beloved by all. But now, 16 months since his last bath, he's a teeming mass of filth and bacteria. His loincloth dissolved weeks ago, replaced by leopard print mold. His scalp contains approximately 10,000 new species alone. Let's not even go there. Hello? Hello, jungle! It's that time! No, 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 no! no. George loves dirt! George, take that! It's a dirty job, but eh, you know the rest. It's only once every couple of years, George. Ugh, need stronger brush. It's for your Ooh. own. Actually, no. It's for everyone else who's good. <laughs> Fine, George, clean. Happy now. Taco, taco. Whoa! Whose idea was it to polish him? Doesn't that feel better, George? George, do feel lighter. We did scrub a lot of, <laughs> let's call it stuff, off you. Whoops! Missed a spot! <laughs> ah, that not spot, that Olaf! Sure, oh. you want to keep your dirt. I understand. But you'll get super gross and filthy all over again soon if you... Ah! Not it, it's Olaf. Say hello to people, Olaf. John Obita? If you're asking if I knew George had a botfly living in him, I thought it would teach him responsibility. Olaf and George meet long time ago. Whoa! Whoa! Here am I! Stop this all! Oh, please, Mama, do not make me look! Olaf, Mom, and Dad ask George to take care of babies. George loves babies. So King of Jungle promised to keep babies until babies fly away. George, so proud. You all have bright future ahead. Huh? Olaf no grow wings, so Olaf and George stick together instead. Best friends forever. Aww.
there, George. <laughs> Why water leak from eyes? Why belly going not? It's because you're sad, George. Sad that <sighs> Magnolia took away the bug living under your skin. Sheesh, sorry already. George don't want to be sad. I'm sorry, old sport. Feelings, even sad ones, are part of life. <laughs> So, George searched the jungle for animals that never felt sad, so he could, um, become those animals? Don't blame me, it's his plan. George? George! They're parasites! Give me a break! Hmm, his trail of tears stops here, in Slothborough. George? Who George? No George here. Me Sloth now. Name, Molasses G. George, I mean Molasses G. I can't believe I have to ask this, but why are you a sloth? Sloth super happy, never feel sad. See, always smiling. George, you know those sloths are upside down. <laughs> George, it's okay. You can feel sad for your dumb fly baby. No, George just need to choose better animal that is never sad. Let's go. Sloths are so depressing. They're finally gone. Pate! Birds always happy. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I think Ka -ka! I think he's making fun of us. Why? 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 <laughs> Wait. You just like sloth. I don't see how these emotion sticks will make George any better. He's avoiding his feelings. Let's see him avoid 20,000 faults of them! George, you're back! <laughs> and not sad anymore? No. George, fine. Are you sure? He said he's fine. Back off, knuckle-draggers! In case you're both dumb, which from the looks of you, name's Hank, and I'm taking care of Georgie Boy's emotions from here on in. All animals get sad, so George give all feelings to Hank. From the horse's mouth. Hey, gee, you know what'd make your emotions real happy right now? Fixing them up a sandwich. Chop to it already, Jungle King. Lemurs, get the emotion sticks. Yeah, not your best sandwich, G, but it'll have to do. Until you make me a new one. Oh, hey, your emotions got mustard on their toes, and that makes them feel sad and stuff. You can fix that, can't you, Georgie boy? Give George back his feelings! Uh... You damn rotten lemur! Ah! Just ate Hank. Mm. Eagles are the only animals worse than lemurs. But hey, Hank's gone, George. That means you've got all your feelings back. Yay! <laughs> no, feelings in lemur. Now feelings gone forever. <laughs> Someone in danger. Must hurry. Baby monkey safe now. What, George have food caught in teeth? All you need is a good night's sleep, George. Everything will be brighter in the morning.
George missed good times and bad times. Want emotions back now. That's excellent, George. Without your feelings, you're a terrible jungle king. No kidding. You didn't even notice this. What? George understand. George get feelings back. Finally! From jerk eagle. Oh. Hey, eagle. Give feelings back. <laughs> jerk eagle. If anyone can catch an eagle in its natural habitat, it's... Not George, apparently. Hey, Eagle, give George back feelings so George can be mad at you. At least George can try... Again. Jerk Eagle gone. Lemur gone. Olaf go gone. Feelings gone. <laughs> George sad. George never feel anything again. George sad. Olaf hell gone. <laughs> George! George! Your feelings are back! What? How he do that? Because you cried yourself a water slide of emotion down the volcano! Hooray! George, happy again! And sad, and angry, and shocked, and worried, and angry, but mostly happy! Now can you please do something about this? What? I'm not doing anything! Glad you're back, Jungle King. Sleep tight. Olaf, you finally get wings. George, happy to see you one last time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Jerk Eagle! The jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. Uh, oh, oh, oh. And watch out for the... <laughs> tree. The king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. Don't eat me. And whatever that thing is. I is, is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food. Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish job, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave ho! <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Taste so good! Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. <laughs> hmm. Good work, George. Now, there's a seven rhino pile upon the... Oh. Billy say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ukuk. 
Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you would eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. It was not I. Eek, ook, ook. Uh, eek, ook, ook. Ook, ook. Eek, ook, ook. Ook, ook. Ook, ook. Ook, ook. Ahem. <laughs> Belly, how could you? Artoon! You are like a Zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! Oh. George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stamut's pain! Hey, that's my arm! Ow! <laughs> Well, it's pretty normal to me. Oh, okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade A gut worm right there. Is correct, Splash Houses. And my name is Sleepy. George, want worm gone now? Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kinds of dust jungle. <laughs> <laughs> George, as king, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George, not leave until Dr. Fix Worm. Suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> <sighs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lions, elephants, and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Save you! Ah, this place is so nice! Maybe if I move that over there. Grab hands! Ah, ah, don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! But quicksand! And then that over there? Who oh, is this over here? Uh, <laughs> false alarm! Uh, I'm good! I'm so good. Oh. Huh, what his problem? Thunderbar! You're so safe now! Slippy! Not do this. Oh, oh. <clears throat> this is what I wanted you to see. Jump. Worm, you ruined George's life. Worst animal ever. That's picnic, you are not either. You smell worse on the inside. You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glorp, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Too eighties! Nine! Too... Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out for that spleen. George, 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 and a big snake is wet and soft and pink. Ooh. It really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. And away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. George, 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 and a big snake. Why, it isn't me. George, we found.
found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water, but hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? <gasps> George did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left. Activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George, I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Gasquake! Don't get cover, people! Phew! George, there's always an after belch. Not so fun when you is that parasite, huh? Uh, get your ball, George, in here. George never realized how hard it'd be to live inside animal. <gasps> Slippy live in inside jungle, just like animals live in outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Yeah, again! Ow, uh, Slippy, real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have this emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like snake. Ah. Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, my work is complete. George is now better jungle kaiser. <gasps> George missed you, Slippy. <laughs> no need. I make eggs in all your mouth last night. Guten Tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth. Hmm? Slot, 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 uh, slot green. Slot have scale? It's the brown one with fur. George saved slot. Yeah. <laughs> Both the grease monkey clan and the stink badgerino <laughs> think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feel much better, but cave kind of messy. Very nice. Now where are they going to live? George love having house guests. Oh. Oh. Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! Oh, yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but... Sometimes things don't work out how you imagine. Behold! What? Puppies? 
kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said, imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha, George like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? <laughs> Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. <laughs> when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit! <laughs> oh, Ape. You funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. Come back, Ape. George, try harder. George, be better. Don't promise to change. Ow. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you need to know about bitey bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they. Whoa! Wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But. Uh... George promised he change. You did. And our little friend? Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this, I truly apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I uh, ape think this best. <laughs> now it tickles again. <laughs> so high! Anteater! Say the word. But, but George saved Sloth and Eagle Baby and Swing Good on Fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George, no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, 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 there's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. Oh. Ew. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Uh, um. <laughs> play fetch. Hi, George. Hi, ape. Just thought I'd drop in and... What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? <laughs> George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's 
Fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um, hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Anti-touch. 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 Anti-touch! <laughs> Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor, but there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mail! <laughs> Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> George, wake up! Time to come back! <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, not hurt George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Antita! Is that? Pretty big ape! Antita! That thing! That's me! No! That big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape? It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Forgive, Ape. Hey! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed and exhilarating, always thrilling, even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Ah, help! Save us! Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. I distinctly said, throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong, because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. 
Shh! It hear you. Earwax has feelings too. No! It doesn't. Clean your ears. No! No one to! Clean it! You not fought some sword! Yes, I am! Clean your ears! No! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in, Volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Posteries. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Oh, we throw you in Volcano! George, don't eat that, it's... Extra crunchy! Uh, uh. <sighs> Why do I even try? Take the left fork, George! No thanks! George, eat with hands! I meant the fork of the river! Why did not say so? I did say so! I clearly stated, take the... <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world. Just really big waterfall. <laughs> really, really big waterfall. <laughs> hey, look! Where... Where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Oh, great silverbacks! We've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us! Wait, George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George! It me, you! Oh, we could do that. Ah, fireworm tastes like fire! I distinctly told you not to eat that! Yeah. Pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Here, the leaves of the gastropacificus bush are an effective antisentipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so, introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? Please, you must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. Given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. Uh, oh! George, watch out for that! Uh, uh, <laughs> Truth accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? <laughs> Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> Low Earth Orbit? Mere <laughs> bonobos play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> well, did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Where's souvenirs? <laughs> me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? I'll be a mama said's uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. We want little monkey made from coconut! Rawr! One, where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship. We never wrestle sharks? 
Not once! Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead! George, King of Jungle! He protect others. A bad do stuff too, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role and George provides the brawl. That's who we are? A sidekick? A second banana? King of Jungle, boring! Come, George, me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ape never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait. We want to hot fire surf all day! My word! Most excellent! <laughs> we shark wrestle champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say... <laughs> It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together, we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination. Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No, we must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Ah! Why sharks so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right, not great. Awesome! Like Lava Surf Park! Something about lava, George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm, that closer. Oh. Oh. George, what have you done? Lava's very, very... Fuck! Owie! Ow! 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 It. Oh, me need ace. He's oh. smart. Help! <laughs> you vile space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader. <laughs> Death rate awesome! You make that? Yes. Apparently, in my younger days, I was too smart for my own good. George must save jungle from aliens. How he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George see is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this. When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle, like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. <laughs> me save you like big George. <laughs> Who were those guys? Thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we throw them in Volcano! Roar! <laughs>
there's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the jungle. Now, Terrence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. Or I mean everyone. Good, you're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> yeah! Whee! <laughs> And no more naked Wednesdays, George. You are king. I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> so you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas, but it never is, is it? Ah, what it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? <laughs> hmm, it's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh, how obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belonged to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. Hey, no, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes, I've been in my lair since this morning. It says here it was delivered. You already said that, but I'm looking around and there's no truck. So say that one more time and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you. Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. <laughs> your company name is a mockery. It says here your truck was delivered. <laughs> Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, Ape, would it be bad if George drive car places? Yes, George, it would be bad. Take it from me. Cars don't get you anywhere. A proper jungle king can't be seen in an oil-belching, environment-destroying metal monster. And that's that. You really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with it. Hey there, rock star. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Ow! Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engaged jaw wreck. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the jungle in a car! No way! Car's good for jungle! George, show you!
monster bad! Hello, Ursula! <laughs> what the truck? That's my eco blast! You have to agree. This machine is a nightmare. George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points. <sighs> Make that 15. Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem. George! Stop! Go! Okay! I'm all right. Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops, sorry, me redo. Please, stop. George, listen. Shh, please. Baby Eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> uh, do you want to trade? Hmm, what it have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <coughs> Fine. Ready for Brecky Bad? Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... <laughs> Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. Paper car, like Eco Blast here. That's it! I've had it! It's me! Thank you for directing me away from accident, ape! Bye now! I don't believe it! <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack! Uh, yes, of course, of course. Wait, speak more slow. George no understand. Turtle, turtle! Not Chicago have eight? Must bring Eagle Blast to bottomless pit in next two hours or it go bottomless. <laughs> bottomless. Turtle! He sent message over an hour ago. That give me only, uh, division plus multiplication. Turtle, turtle! Only 20 minutes to save Ape. <laughs> What's going on here? What do you think? It's all your fault. What'd George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. <laughs> what? No! 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 What me done? Car bad! But me still needed to save Ape! Ah! Ah, here your car! Like new! Holy crud! Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! <laughs> no!
Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry I no listen to you. Go fly, baby eagle. The bottomless pit! It's the bottomless! It's lava! Yeah, good! Lava destroy car, just like you say. But George, we're still in it! George win! Jungle win! George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone push cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them? Ah!